shout out to the cosmic wonder bro you feel me so we're gonna be getting into this video right here it says sony is making the biggest spider-man mistake they can make I'm curious to see what he's talking about i'm sure he's talking about all the little spin-off movies that they're making which is trash i don't even know why they're doing that but um yeah let's dig into this one let's get into this video though so sony might have something planned for their spider-man adjacent universe with madam webb craven Venom, although Venom, The Last Dance is supposed to be the final Venom film, but who knows at this point. But their plans it for Spider-Verse could be so catastrophic. It could be so bad that I don't think they even get halfway through what they could possibly have planned. And if these new rumors that we are hearing are true about what Sony has planned, I really hope it's the final end to this Spider-Man adjacent universe. Now, I originally what more are they gonna do? Venom three, the Last Dance, with all the rumors going around about Noel and Venom possibly going over to Spider-Man four in the MCU. I thought that hey, maybe Sony has possibly learned and they have realized Damn, that safe, the characters bro. that they own do not work with whatever universe that they are building without. Spider-Man and honestly if they did the movies themselves with Spider-Man they probably still wouldn't work and I agree bro because they're writing his trash that's just a fact but what 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 are they what in like what is the reason of them making all these spin-off movies of Spider-Man villains and stuff like that or characters in general that doesn't make any damn sense at all bro to me, it makes no sense whatsoever. It just doesn't make any sense. What's the point of doing that? Why would you do that? Why are you doing that? It's stupid. And it's the same thing over and over again. Like, what? We're not supposed to feel bad. Man, listen, bro. It's dumb. Making all these movies without Spider-Man is, is wild to me. Like... Look, I saw Venom 3 The Last Dance and I actually enjoyed it because going into the movie, I knew what it was going be? to be. I mm -hmm. did not expect it to be a great movie and I just relaxed, shut my mind off, and I had a good time. Is what? it a great movie by any means? No. Could you even call Thanks. it a good movie? Depends on your definition of good. And it is just littered with plot holes throughout the entire movie. I had a fun, good time watching it. I'm glad I saw it, but this proves that Sony just doesn't know how to handle these characters. So when the possibility of Sony bringing those characters over to the MCU and letting Marvel Studios have those characters kind of came up with these rumors with Noel and Venom and Spider-Man 4, I was really happy and I thought foolishly that Sony might have learned their lesson and had figured out that they can't make these movies at least Facts. not well Facts. I had a glimmer of hope for Facts. that but as it turns out if this is all true I was completely Would wrong. I come out tonight? wrong and in fact it's the opposite of what they're going to do. Now, this isn't confirmed, thankfully, but it is coming from a report from an insider, and that report states that Null isn't actually setting up Spider-Man 4 but Noel is actually setting up a Sinister Six movie inside of the Sony Spider-Man. Ew! Ew! A Sinister Six? Come on, bro. What the hell are they doing, bro? What are we even talking? What are we talking about, bro? They setting up a Sinister Six movie to fight No, Bro, that's garbage. That is trash. What? Adjacent universe. About a week and a half ago, the insider My Time to Shine what? Hello stated, I hear Sony is working on a Sinister Six movie again, which she posted to Twitter slash X. Oh, that'll be so trash, she bro. She posted this. Sony has Facts some not. terrible plans for Null. Be very afraid. And it's also worth noting that a few days ago, she posted that it didn't seem like Null and Venom were actually going to be in Spider-Man 4 anymore. And to be fair, Good. Tom Holland did say that they are working on the script and there are a few things they have to get right. So they are actively changing this script each day. So the rumors that we heard before about Noel and Venom being in Spider-Man 4 could have been true at one point in time. They still could be true because some insiders like Alex Perez says that's still what he's hearing is going to happen. But knowing Sony, knowing how Sony is, it makes way more sense that they would actually be introducing Noel to set up other Sony Spider-Verse movies. Oh, of course. Spider-Verse movies that aren't actually going to have Spider-Man in them. But instead, 
It seems like Sony is still going through with their Sinister Six film, which they have been trying to make for a very long time. Amy Pascal during the events of Spider-Man No Way Home. She this gotta be the worst decision of all time. Of all time, bro. No, of all time. He even still said that eventually like, we would get this movie. Now, that was years ago at this point, but it sounds like they're dead set on making this film. And it sounds like the Sinister Six are actually going to be somewhat. So how much did it cost to fill your tank? Almost a hundred bucks. How much is the car payment? That don't even really make sense. Of an Avengers type hero team that are going to take on Null. This what? is what some people are. Bro, Noel will wipe his ass when each and every one of them at the same time. Like it's nothing. What are we talking about? Wally, what's good, bro? You can't have Noel without Silver Surfer. In th that are thinking based on all of these reports from these insiders and a lot of people are now picking up on this a title of an article by Batman, what's good, bro? Horizon states no isn't paving the way for Spider-Man 4 he's setting up a sinister 6 movie and Most I gotta tell you if this does happen I hate this but sadly at the same time it may actually be what needs to happen for Sony to finally understand something very important Two things, actually. One is you can't have all of these Spider-Man characters in movies without Spider-Man. Exactly. Work. Venom is kind of the exception, but the Venom movies were never really fantastic movies. They're fun, and I definitely enjoy them and have a good time, but they're certainly not on the same level as other superhero movies. No. So that's one. They can't make these movies without Spider-Man, but two is they just simply don't do these movies well. I mean, that was kind of the whole reason we got Tom Holland's Spider-Man in the MCU is because Amy Pascal went to Kevin Feige for help with the Amazing Spider-Man 3 because the first two didn't do well and Kevin Feige straight up told her, you can't do it, it's not gonna work, let us do Spider-Man. And after Amy Pascal got yeah. pissed off, kicked him out of his office, she eventually realized he was right. And that is the very brief story of how we got Spider-Man in the MCU. So you think they would kind of know at this point in time, but they continued to make these other movies thinking that they would work even though they don't have Spider-Man in them. And now if they are pushing Trash. forward with all of these movies that they are setting up, having the characters from these movies come together to fight somebody as big as Null, that's going to fail before they get to Null. Look, Craven looks better than most of their films. And I could probably say right now that it's going to be better than Madam Web. And That's not even Craven. This nigga's speaking American ass English. Not even Craven. Morbius, but that's really not saying much at all. Craven could actually be a good movie, but I don't think it's going to save their universe mm -mm. by any means. And what else would they have coming up? Who else are they going to set up? Are they going to bring in Doc Ock? Are they going to bring in the Green Goblin? If they do, do we really expect them to do any good with them? And even if no. they were minorly successful in doing this, what makes them think that this group of characters in a Sinister Six could take on Null? Like that post credit scene for Morbius where Michael Keaton's vulture showed up and just kind of was like, oh yeah, maybe it was Spider-Man that got me to this universe here. Stupid. I don't even know. Like he literally says, I'm not sure how I got here. I think it has something to do with Spider-Man, but a bunch of us guys should team up and we could do some good. Now, good to a bad person is obviously not the normal type of good, but is this what Sony is really setting up? They think Vulture and Morbius, along with Kraven the Hunter and possibly Bruh, Adam Webb are going like, to take what are we Null, talking about? A character who, in the comics, when he launched his full-on assault against Earth to get the Codex, who was in Eddie Brock's son in the comics, literally, it took the Rory, Avengers, hold on a second, the X-Men, I got you, bro. Four, basically everybody to fight Null. So they're going to go from that story with all of those insanely powerful groups to a story about the Sinister Six taking on Null. I pray this is not the case. And if anybody from Sony is listening, I beg you, don't do this. Or on the other hand, do it. Because I think if you implement this plan and try to work your way up to Null, you don't get there. I think all the movies bomb. I think the fans get pissed off once they realize what the plan Please do it. Yeah, is do it. building up to Null. Then I think it goes so poorly that there will just be no other choice but to just stop it all. Then 
Maybe they'll consider starting over and possibly doing a universe with Spider-Man in it, or just simply continue to license these characters over to Marvel yeah. and let just them sell out. it. This is very Bro, just sell Spider-Man back to Disney, or not back, but back to Marvel, which is under Disney, obviously. Sell Spider-Man to Disney, so Marvel could do their thing. Get billions and billions and billions and billions and billions and billions and billions and, billions and fucking billions of dollars for Spider-Man. From Disney. And we and we lit. We lit after that. And y'all make hundreds of billions of dollars. We we up. Very scary because out of all the things that we've been hearing, the one thing that is confirmed by the execs at Sony, by the director of Venom 3, The Last Dance, is that Noel, this is just the beginning for him. They have a lot more projects with Noel coming up. Oh my and I'm God. not necessarily one of the people who really wants Noel to appear in no. Spider-Man 4, but I definitely think it would be a lot better than whatever they have planned in their own universe. And there are definitely ways to make Noel and Venom in Spider-Man 4 work, Nick, especially fact. since the release date for Spider-Man 4 is confirmed now. It's coming in July of 2026. So this is definitely happening between Doomsday and Secret Wars, which basically does confirm that it is going to be a multiverse film. It kind of has to since it's going to be between those two films. So if we're not getting a grounded Spider-Man street level film and we are getting a multiversal one, sure, throw Nolan there, bring Venom in there, bring the other Spider-Man back, sure. Just write a good story for it all and let Marvel Studios handle it completely. But based off of things that we are hearing, and hopefully they're not true, but based off of the rumors, this could be what Sony has planned. And I really hope it's not the case because I'm not really sure anybody wants to see a weird Sinister Six team take on Null, the symbiote god, creator of the symbiote. Let's the be Elder's honest god here. Darkness, wielder you know of how the all underpowered black that man would be? sword. There's just no way. They should just use Noel to wipe Raven, the wipe Morbius, the Madden universe. Web, and whoever else they have get in there are going to be able to take them on. Not in any serious way, that is. But that's just my very frustrating thoughts right now about this whole situation. Let me know your thoughts about this. Again, it's not confirmed, but if this were to happen, what would you think about this? Do you think there's any It'll way suck. it could possibly work? And if you do, please let me know how. Go ahead, leave all your thoughts about this in the comments down below. If you love Marvel, be sure to subscribe. We do daily Marvel updates on the channel, and I rant like this every now and then as well, while still updating you. Thanks for indulging me. You can catch us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof. That was a great video. Boy was talking that talk. Was talking that talk. If you enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Please turn on notifications to get started on the stream. I'm about to bounce, bro. Like, actually leave the stream. <laughs> like, all jokes aside, I'm tired as hell. And I'm about to... I should have streamed earlier, but I got off late as hell. So, that's my bad. But at least I got to talk to some of y'all, so... But I'm, I'm going to start the stream back. Uh, I said stream back. Yeah, I might stream again tomorrow. And I'm going to upload this video, because this is the only one we reacted to on the stream. So, yeah. We're going to upload this video and then uh delete this stream. But to delete the stream right now. But I, y'all. Uh, Peace, peace, peace. I appreciate y'all. I gotta get some sleep, man. Yo, hold on my weight, but I'm all alone. No place to go, so ready to crash. I'm out of my zone. Still waiting for hope, still calling for faith, but hung up the phone. No place to go, bet on the stakes, so losing the throne.